So on this first one, that would be 3a, yeah, and then the square root of 18, a cubed, can be the square root of 9, the square root of 2, the square root of a squared, and the square root of a. times 4 times the square root of 3 times the square root of a squared. So this one becomes 3. This one becomes a. This one becomes a. So we took care of that one. We took care of that one. We took care of that one. So then on my outsides, I have 3 times a times 3, that's 9a, times a, that's 9a squared, times 4, that's 36a squared, times a is 36a cubed. So that's here, 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 and here, all taken care of. And then that leaves me with the square root of 6a, because I've got a square root of 2, I've got a square root of a, and I've got a square root of 3 on the inside. Over here, I've got a square root of 5, a square root of x squared, a square root of x, and a square root of y. So that gives me my 5x cubed y. Then that's going to be multiplied by, I got a square root of 5, and a square root of 2 is my square root of 10. Square root of x squared square root of x, square root of y to the fourth. This one gives me x. This one gets me x. This one gets me y squared. These two here give me a 5. Square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 25, which is 5. These two here give me an x. Square root of x times the square root of x is the square root of x squared which is just x. So on my outside here, I've got 5x cubed y squared times the square root of 2y. Questions on that? Okay. Now, let me ask you a question before we go to the next slide. Brett, if you have a pencil and Max has a pencil, how many pencils do you guys got? You got two, right? Okay. Between two of them, they got two pencils. Yeah. FB, if you've got four pens, four blue pens, okay, and Erica's got three blue pens and one red pen, how many pens do you have? You've got eight pens. Okay. Are they all 
all the same? No. You got seven blues and one red, right? Abby, if you've got six X's and Allie takes two X's away, what do you guys got left? Four X's, right? Okay. Hardest question of the day. What's two plus three? Five, right? Okay. What's negative nine plus ten? Negative 9 plus 10. 1. Okay? Right? In all of those examples, what is true? Okay, let me change it up. Let's go negative 15 plus 7. Negative 8, right? Still, everything so far, there's been one common issue so far, or one common theme so far. Okay? Now, I kind of hinted it on, on the pens. Okay? What if David's got seven oranges, okay? and Jackie's got four televisions? How many do they have together? Seven oranges, four televisions. They got what? Eleven things? No. No, they got seven oranges and four televisions. They got seven oranges and four televisions. Right? That one's different than all of the other ones that we just had before. What's the common thing? We can only add or subtract things if they are the same. Okay? We can only add and subtract things if they're the same. If I've got bananas, okay, and Skype, you've got oranges. I already used oranges. You've got apples. Okay. Okay. We max. Can we mash them together and they create a brand new fruit? A banapple? A banana? Okay, you know what I mean? Okay, we got apples and apples and bananas. I like the ice, 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 apples and bananas. Did you hear that song? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's transfer that into radicals. If I'm going to add or subtract radicals, what has to be the what has to be true? We have to what? We have to have similar radicals, right? Okay. So if we're going to add or subtract, the property that we have here is that the radicals. Must be similar. Now, there's two components with that because we're dealing with radicals. The first component is, is the index. Has to be the same. What do I mean by index again? What's the index of a radical? The root, the root that we're taking. Okay, so they have to both be square roots, or all three of them have to be fourth roots, or you know what I mean? I can't add a third root to a square root because the indexes are different. Okay, with me? So that's your first check. Your indexes all have to be the same. The second thing is, is that your insides, the inside of the radical, also must be the same. Uh-oh. 
craziness. We're trying. I think I found the... Oh, nope, too far. All right. Forget it. We're just going to erase it. Oh, now i got to make a new eye. Okay, so if we're adding and subtracting radicals, you got to use your eyes, the index and the inside. Okay, those all have to be the same. So, can I add, as it is, can I add the square root of 9 and the square root of 4? Yeah. As, it, as it stands right there written in black, can I do that? Why not look? No, the insides aren't the same. You gotta check your eyes. Okay, first eye, they're both square roots, so I can do it up to that point. Second eye says the insides are different, so I can't. Okay, but what do I know about the square root of nine and the square root of four? They're both perfect squares, so those can be simplified. So the square root of nine is three. So this becomes three. Plus, the square root of 4 is 2, and 3 plus 2 is 5, because now they're the same. Okay? So even though I might not be able to do it on the surface, my first initial glance at it, okay, I can simplify and then possibly do that. Okay? What about the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5? Yeah. I can because they're both square roots and they're both 5's. So if you have one square root of 5 and I give you another square root of 5, how many square roots of 5's do you have? Two, two square roots of 5. Square root of 3 plus the square root of 7. Can't do it, right? Can I simplify the square root of 3? Can I simplify the square root of 7? No. So what's my answer? Leave it as the square root of 3 plus the square root of 7. Cube root of 8 plus the cube root of 27. Can't do it as it stands, but I can simplify, right? Okay, cube root of 8 simplifies to be 2. Cube root of 27 simplifies to be 3. So this becomes 2 plus 3, which is... together. Seven square roots of seven. Number two, can I add it as is? No. Okay. But I can simplify this one. So this would be three times the square root of nine times the square root of 3, right? So that's going to be 9 square roots of 3. Right? Now can I add those two together? 
because they're both square roots and they're both square roots of 3. So negative two, plus, negative 2 square roots of 3 plus 9 square roots of 3 gives me 7 square roots of 3. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to do numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. Spot check number 3. So that's going to be 2, the square root of 6, the square root of y to the 4th, and the square root of y. So that's going to be 2y squared times the square root of 6y. Agree with the first one, first part. Okay. Then the second part is going to be 2y, the square root of 4, the square root of 6, the square root of y squared, and the square root of y. So that's going to be 4y squared times the square root of 6y. And we are subtracting those. So that's going to give me negative 2y squared times the square root of 6y. Questions on that one? Why can't you have like just in the square root of 24 and then the square root of y to the third because it means like 12? Square root of 24 is not 12. You don't divide numbers by 2. Divide exponents by 2, yes. But we don't divide the numbers by 2. And I've seen a lot of that. Saw a lot of that on the homework from last week. Okay? Numbers are different. Exponents divide by 2. Number 4, what do we get for number 4? Square root of 15x. Need more time on the other two? No? Okay. So then this would be 11 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, which is going to be 22 square roots of 2. This is going to be 3 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which is going to be 9 square roots of 2. So that's going to give us 13 square roots of 2. Questions on that one? What is the square root of 4 is? 2 times 11 is 22. Oh, you multiply once you... Once it's outside. Two times the square root of four times the square root of two is going to be four square roots of two. Five square roots of four and the square root of three is going to be ten square roots of three. Yes? So there I get 11 square roots of 2 minus 10 square roots of 3. I can't combine that any further because the square root of 2 is not the same as the square root of 3. Good. Do numbers 7 and 8. So that's 3, square roots of 3, square root of 8, or excuse me, x to the 8th, square root of x. So that's going to be 3x to the 4th, 
times the square root of 3x. This is going to be x to the fourth, square root of 9, square root of 3, square root of x. So that's going to be 3x to the fourth times the square root of 3x. We're subtracting both of those, so we get 0. Took them all away. Okay. Here, what I would do first is I would combine all of these cube roots of 16. 2 minus 1 is 1, plus 3 is 4 times the cube root of 16. Then, now, you can say, well, this is 4 times the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 2. So that's going to be 8 cube roots of 2. This one is going to be 2 cube root of 8 cube root of 3. So that's going to be 4 cube roots of 3. And I can't combine them anymore. Okay. Have a good day.